so here are potatoes and onion i'm going to peel my potatoes and prepare my onions so that i can start making my today's best meal guys with me we try this recipe so that we can learn more about this welcome and let us start peeling our potato done with the potatoes now is what is remaining is just cleaning them potatoes now are very clean what is remaining is now to cut them and i will show you how i will cut them later how they look like when i cut them i i chopped them like that way because i needed them like that i will show you what i am planning to do after this let's go finally my potato here i will apply oil as you can see my oil is laid here then i will put them i will put my machine on and i will put them here it is frying machine you can see how wonderful it is it is looking amazing and of course it will bring the best result of what i really want so keep watching we will see what will happen after this control your machine and set the minute you want this is you put it on then you can keep on increasing minute then if you want 45 that 45 minute here we go degrees that one 95 degrees 200 degrees then put it on and you will be as you can see it has started wow i will leave it like 15 minutes for it to get hot then i will put my potato remember i have applied oil on them so I, what is remaining i'm waiting for this machine to get hot then i will put it here inside here here inside wow this way as you can see yeah it operates that way it is called frying machine it is amazing machine you can buy one if you don't have and try this amazing recipe i am about to drop here wow welcome this is how they look like immediately after i put them here into machine let us give let us give it like maybe 15 to 20 minutes and we will just come to check the result all right as 10 minutes after red check the result what is going on here wow wow look at our potato how they are doing some are even already started turning brown and that's what i want guys the result um, i am expecting is this potato to turn brown that after that five minutes uh, yeah but this result for 10 minutes i don't know even that minute can be finished before it turn brown but we will keep on checking wow let's ch let's uh, wait let's wait let's wait for that brown lizard this is after 20 minutes and i think they are well done it is time for them to change and put them here i will change so that i can continue frying the rest wow you can see the lizard and see the difference between cooked and uncooked so this is exactly what i wanted guys
I will let my chicken to boil like 45 or um, yes 45 minutes or half an hour to 45 minutes so that I can cut them in small pieces I will add more water this is not uh, the water I will use I will add more water can see now the water is covering chicken and without forgetting I have added salt for my chicken to be tasty I will wait for about uh, 30 to 45 minutes for them to boil and cook to well that's how they are cooking how my chicken is doing so far so good it's around 10 minutes I will give it to up to 30 minutes for it to be well cooked my chicken is now cooked these carrots and in the pan i have onions i will mix them in the pan this is uh, small pieces of chicken i will mix them all together in the sneer i will put first layer potato then chicken then potato once more then i will put cream and cheese together i will mix them and add them on the top of sneer after that i will put them in the oven for the cheese to dry up like five minutes only remember everything was cooked only drying up this is the last result and I hope you have enjoyed. It is delicious. You can try at home. And don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.